And what I am determined to do as Prime Minister is to make sure we have an economy with high wages. The new Prime Minister has just spent the past eight weeks calling anyone who won't accept a crappy real terms pay cut in a cost of living crisis. Militant. And if that's not bad enough. I would legislate immediately to make sure that we are standing up to militant trade unions. Average wages in the UK are falling at the fastest rate for more than two decades. Britain already has the most draconian anti-trade union laws in Europe and trust plans to limit the rights of workers striking for fair pay even further. We will build more nuclear power stations, which the Labour Party didn't do. Blimey. Imagine the shock for the new Prime Minister when she finds out it's her own party that's been in power for the last 12 years. Well, there's nothing new about a Labour leader who is calling for more tax rights. Again, imagine the shock when she finds out not only has her party been in power for more than a decade, it's actually hiked taxes to their highest level in 70 years. Don't just take my word for it. And we've currently got the highest tax rates for 70 years in our country. The last time, the last time we cut corporation tax, we attracted more revenue into the exchequer. Well, let's get the view of the former chancellor on that one. That low corporation tax rate we had has done absolutely zilch for investment in our economy. I mean, I don't agree with the way she is talking down our National Health Service. Well, let's get the thoughts of the new Prime Minister and former Chancellor on what 12 years of Conservative government has done to the NHS. NHS backlogs. We're reaching the point where millions of people are anxiously waiting for the treatment that they desperately need. I'm afraid some of our hospitals are falling apart. Uh, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in King's Lynn near me, uh, bits of the hospital being held up by stilts. What the British people want is they want a government that's going to sort it out.